Let me point this out right now. I have paint all over my hands and maybe some on my face, but don't mind that. Pay attention to what I'm about to tell you. But before we get into the video, hey guys, it's FIFA Fita here, back again with another weekly soccer update video. And there's gonna be a lot to cover. It's gonna be kind of overwhelming. And let's just hope I get everything right. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. I'm gonna start off first with the FA Cup. So Arsenal beat Man City 2-0, and Chelsea beat Man United 3-1. Now, Chelsea and Arsenal are gonna face off in the final, and if Arsenal wins, they can make it into the Europa League. Because making it from the Premier League table is kind of impossible now. I mean, they're in 10th place. And they might have the possibility of doing that because they did just beat Liverpool and Man City. So right now, they're kind of untouchable. But hey, I don't predict the future. We're gonna have to wait for that game, and let's see how it ends up. But okay, 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 wait. I don't want to step away from the FA Cup just yet. Because in Chelsea's win, Olivier Giroud scored. And I've said this before, but Giroud is kind of on fire right now. He has five goals in the last eight games, and I mentioned it before, between him, Tammy Abraham, and Timo Werner. Is Olivier Giroud gonna fit? Is he gonna leave Chelsea? Honestly, I think he should stay for at least one to two more years, if he keeps it up, of course. But it's gonna be pretty interesting to see who gets the starting spot between the three attackers. So just keep that in mind. I reminded you guys of that, all right? Okay, now let's move on to the Premier League. What can I say about Leicester right now? I thought that they had the top four secured in the bag, but in the recent games, they've been dropping points and they haven't gotten out of fourth place, and Man United has been picking up points. And at the moment right now, Man United have one less game than Leicester, and they have the same amount of points. But let's not forget that Man United and Leicester play off in the last fixture, so that's gonna be pretty hot. So I think Man United is either gonna finish in third or fourth place. Why do I say this? Well, Chelsea right now is in third place, with only one more point than Manchester, but Chelsea's next opponent is Liverpool, which is not gonna be an easy game at all. So I think the last picture is going to be pretty interesting. But let's not veer away from Leicester yet. They did just lose 3-0 to Tottenham. And like I said before, if Tottenham has hopes of making it to the Europa League, they needed to step up their game. And they have been. They're now in 7th place and only 1 point away from Wolves who's in 6th. So one more match day and let's see how it ends. And now, over to La Liga. As you guys all know, Madrid is champions. And obviously they're going to the Champions League. And so is Barca, Atletico de Madrid, and Sevilla. And then we have Villarreal, Real Sociedad, and Granada all going to the Europa League. And finally, I have to hit you guys with some sad news. Espanol, Mallorca, and Leganes all got relegated. Relegation is never an easy thing, it's never a positive thing, and it's honestly quite sad. But I can't do anything about it, so we're just gonna have to move on. That kind of sounded mean, sorry. But seriously, let's move on. Now onto the Serie A. After three games of not being able to win, Juventus finally won, and it was against Lazio, which ended up 2-1. They're now at 80 points and they're getting closer to clinch the title. Why do I say this specifically? Well, both Atalanta and Inter Milan both tied their last games. Atalanta tied 1-1 to Hellas Verona and Inter tied 2-2 to Roma. And of course, Lazio lost, so the table hasn't moved since my last update. And there's still four more match days left, so honestly, anything is possible. So stay tuned and don't go to any other channel but mine. You won't regret it. And lastly, I think the most devastating news we've heard in a while, but for the first time since 1956, the Ballon d'Or has been canceled. So this means that no player is going to be able to receive the award, all because of the freaking coronavirus. So we won't even know who the best player of 2020 was. Or will we? Barca kind of threw some shots on Twitter. And it was regarding Messi, of course. The tweet said, we understand, either way, we all know who's the best. So they were pretty confident that Messi was going to win the award but I would say that's pretty debatable. We've seen many top performances from many other players, so now I'm kind of curious who would have actually won it, but I guess it's gonna be a mystery we will never find out. This whole year has just been a disaster so far, man. But on that note, that's all I got for you guys today. Like I said, it was a lot of stuff and it was kind of overwhelming and I may have messed up on a few parts. So please, please fact check me. And as always, if you guys did like what you see, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and comment down below what you guys would like to see in next week's video. And this week, I promise you guys, I will come out with the Q&A and the FIFA gameplay. So don't go anywhere. But as always, I appreciate all you guys for all the support and thank you for watching.